Now, folks, if you are here at Comic-Con or you have seen some shots of these buildings behind us, you, you can see this one right here. We get, they get huge ads on the sides of buildings, right? And we're in the Hard Rock right now, and on, this, on the wall is an ad for Spider-Man. And so we are super psyched to have Spider-Man The Edge of Time on the show right now. D. Brown is joining hey. us. He's a studio head at Beanox, and we're talking about Edge of Time. D. it's Comic-Con. Big time for Spider-Man. It is a big time for Spider-Man. We're really happy to be there. We're actually showing a lot of stuff for the first time. It's our big coming out on the game. So we we have been uh, we've been announcing we've been showing like exclusive footage. It's actually the first time that the uh, that the consumers can actually pick the controller and play the game and look at all the cool new stuff that we've put in the game. So, so you got really a playable excited. out there too. Folks can, if yeah, you're yeah, at yeah, Comic-Con, yeah. you can play it. Absolutely, make sure to try it out if you're, if you're around here. I think Activision, you guys are in the corner of the hall. You guys, yeah. you got sort of this whole big thing. You can't miss it if you're out there. Yeah. Uh, now, do you, jo you joined us during E3 to sort of take yeah. a look at Edge of Time. So folks who saw that demo are probably familiar with the game and what it's all about. For folks who didn't see it, give us the overview about Spider-Man's new adventure. No, of course. The well, Spider-Man Edge of Time. This time around, we're uh, bringing uh, the amazing Spider-Man back, with Peter Parker in present day mm -hmm. and Spider-Man 2099, Miguel O'Hara in the future, and they have to work together across time in order to prevent a catastrophic event from happening. The death of Spider-Man. Ooh, averting your own death? That's, yeah, that's pretty yeah. heavy stuff. That's really, really cool. Actually, the story plays a central role in our game. We, right from the beginning, we said that we would like, we wanted to, to give to the player the best Spider-Man story ever played in a video game, and I think we just did it. We've, we've hired uh, Peter David, who's the co-creator of Spider-Man 2099, who did uh, all the story, and it's really cool. And we went after the uh, the uh, the like uh, uh, actors that did uh, that did the Spider-Man in the past. So we have Christopher Daniel Barnes, who is doing uh, Spider-Man 2099, okay. Spider-Man in the uh, in, uh, in the 90s, actually. Oh, and no Josh kidding. Keaton, who's uh, coming from the spectacular Spider-Man uh, experience as well. So we really wanted this experience to be an authentic Spider-Man experience. Okay, and now the la the demo started up, and so what are we seeing here with this sort of weird? blue time warpy thingy that there's so, there's some strange stuff going on give it let, tell folks what's what's happening yeah well the uh, in this in this demo what you uh, what you're seeing actually is uh is uh, the amazing spider-man in what we call the fail experiment labs at Oscar. okay and right now the uh, spider-man 2099 is actually in uh, in trouble and you have to save him so in the in the game we have those really really cool cause and effect moments mm -hmm. where actually uh, as the amazing Spider-Man in present day, just like uh, you, you can see here, you are actually doing something, and through a picture-in-picture -picture feature, you immediately see the impact of your action in the future. So. This time you, you oh, got nice. to see that you just, you actually defeated some failed experiment creatures mm -hmm. and immediately those creatures disappear in the future and when you have taken out all of them, you've actually freed uh, 2099 and you get to, uh, get, to get to play his side of the story. Okay, so you sort of, you sort of go in little episodes, you know, you play as amazing for a little bit and untangle things for 2099 then you get to play as him for a while and then go back to amazing. Yeah, exactly. Now, now yeah. It's, so that was a good example of how Changing things for amazing affects the future, yeah. and that that sort of makes sense from a linear time kind of perspective. Yeah. Uh, can twenty ninety nine change things to affect amazing? Well, reality. Two, well, two, there's two there's two uh, answers to that question. The uh, on Spider Man twenty ninety nine, you have kind of a more reactionary role because you're mm -hmm. on the other side of things. So Peter Parker, when you're playing twenty ninety nine, Peter Parker, the Amazing Spider Man, is still changing stuff. So he's still making things happening that change your, your reality. Oh, but now, okay. you can walk down a corridor and all of a sudden, there's gonna be, the, the corridor is gone. It's, it's gone and you have to find another way out. Mm -hmm. Another time, you'll walk into a room that seems quiet at first and then the security will just go, uh, will all of a sudden change and everything, uh, there will be security cameras appearing, lasers and stuff like that and you have to get the hell out of there. And you, get, so, you have to think, Am <laughs> amazing, what did you just do? You know? yeah, because yeah. you're not making, you're not making all the changes as amazing. You're sometimes just dealing with them as 2099. Totally, but another thing that we've actually announced at the show is that at one point in our story, the two Spider-Men, uh, they actually change and switch worlds 
So that's really cool. What? So we, yeah, that's really cool. Oh, I, oh, I mean, on. that's a Marvel story. Yeah, Anything there you, can happen, there you go. Is, okay, but that's really cool. So uh, as you as you are uh, amazing, and you end up in the future, you have to deal with all this advanced weaponry that you've never seen before. So that's great. Mm -hmm. That great really cool situation. While with 2099, you have this antique stuff, and you have a you have a you're trying to find your way around using all this this technology that you have no idea how how, how that works. <laughs> so, but the but the, the the really cool thing is the is that constant communication between the the, the two uh, the two characters. So, mm -hmm. you've seen a couple of examples in the uh, in the in the uh, the the, uh, the footage that we were seeing here of those of those uh, of the picture in picture uh, feature that allow you that allow us to build that relationship between the two Spider Man. So that that's very cool because at first you don't you, like they don't quite trust each other, and as you as you uh, as you build. The, uh, the relationship over time, they get to, to know each other. It's very cool. Okay, it sounds like a, a pretty neat sort of different dimension on a, a Spider-Man story for yeah. folks. Okay. And now, looking at the combat that we've been seeing, we've been seeing primarily amazing to this point. Yeah. Uh, now this looks, for folks who played the last Spider-Man game, Shattered Dimensions, this looks familiar, you know, like we, you know, I'm seeing web zips, I'm seeing great combos, I'm seeing, you know, hammers, yeah. web hammers and stuff like that. Can you talk a little bit about how Edge of Time changes things up or what's new or what's different from in the combat oh, realm? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Well, we've uh, we've actually improved the combat on both Spider-Man. So Spider-Man, uh, the amazing Spider-Man, has, uh, for example, has a new ability that is uh, called the Hypersense. Mm -hmm. So uh, we actually tap into the Spider-Sense of, uh, of amazing Spider-Man so that he can actually, using Hypersense, dodge uh, incoming bullets and, uh, and pre prevent all sort of stuff from happening to him as he moves through lasers and things. That's really cool. And on Spider-Man 2099 also has his unique ability, uh, which uh, unfortunately doesn't have a, a Spider-Sense, uh, Miguel Oeira, but he does have accelerated vision. So he's able to perceive his enemies and his environment uh, much quicker than they can. Okay. So that's what we've uh, we've given to the player, an accelerated decoy. So he can basically launch a version of himself that will draw the attention of all the enemies that will continue shooting where the, that's the last time that's the last place where they saw him uh -huh. and while he can defeat them and kick their butt. So that's really cool. Right but on. we also use them in a strategic it's way where sometimes you have to have to go through a door but you can so you leave your de decoy in front of it so that the enemies actually show uh, shoot through the door and blast through it for you. So that they're all sort of cool things like that. Okay, so some cool some cool different abilities yeah. you know yeah. for the for the Spider Man to uh, to employ and now so we're seeing 2099 in action here yeah. where are we it now in future Oscorp that's a future uh, Alchemax actually oh, okay. in the future Alchemax corporation uh, this and uh, this uh, this level is actually really cool where uh, the uh, Spider-Man 2099 actually got trapped in what you see is an incinerator You've been uh, you've been thrown in the uh, in the incinerator level, and there's security preventing you from going up by simply wall crawling. Mm -hmm. So by using various envir environmental uh, uh, objects like this, you're going to be able to eventually reverse gravity to shoot yourself up uh, the the, uh, the vent. So that's, reverse that's gravity. Really now that oh, yeah. now that sounds appealing because Spider-Man, you know, for all of his, you know, punchy, kicky prowess, uh, he a lot of the thrill of Spider-Man is. Different kinds of movement, wall crawling, web slinging, web zipping, yeah. uh, and now reversing gravity. Uh, what kind of experiences, and you know, how do you, how do you guys making it like just cool to be Spider-Man and move around? Oh well, we've uh, we've developed. Uh, it's it's actually very important to respect the DNA of Spider-Man in any uh, any Spider-Man title. So we have sections that are really uh, more focused on wall crawl, as you have to uh, dodge obstacles and uh, and stuff. Uh, others where it's more uh, swinging. In the in this this particular level, the incinerator level, you actually have to uh, you tap into the unique ability of 299 of uh, of being able to control his free fall. Mm -hmm. So when you actually reverse the gravity, you end up being launched in the air as a and as you have to reach the uh, the uh, upper levels, okay. so you'll have to be kind of a, in a reverse free fall mode if you want. So you have to dodge obstacles and and, and dodge bridges and things to reach the in order level where you wanted to go. So those are all the little things that we have put in there to really make the player feel like Spider-Man. Now speaking of little things, I mean, there's uh, we see we've seen golden spiders, we've seen little action figures. There, there's just a, a bevy of collectibles, yeah. it seems, here. Well, of course! <laughs> more Vinox! I mean, we've, did, 
We did it with Shattered Dimension. We had plenty of unlockables, plenty of a Marvel reference for, uh, for the fans out there. And you can, I, I can tell you, we have amazing stuff in this one as well. So we have a bunch of uh, alternate suits, for example, something that was very popular in Shattered Dimension. Oh, yeah. We're bringing a bunch of new, of new ones in this, uh, in this game. Uh, you actually have uh, also all sorts of, uh, of stuff that, unfortunately, I cannot tell you right now. But the Marvel fans will really, really enjoy this game. We also take the opportunity to uh, give the player much more information about the Aftermath Corporation. Mm -hmm. You have seen this in the comic, uh, but we've uh, put, we're bringing this to another level in the game. So there's a bunch of stuff here. All right, now you you know so you're drawing inspiration obviously from previous games from the comic and from. You know, and now there's a new Spider-Man movie coming out. Are you guys have you been following that a little bit? You know, it's the Amazing Spider-Man. You guys have the Amazing Spider-Man. I mean, does that you know pique your interest? You know, just from a from a fan standpoint. Well, it's, uh, the Amazing Spider-Man certainly is an interesting title, and <laughs> as the lead developer of the Spider-Man franchise, we are interested in that. So yeah, we're following development and how it goes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 Very. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, okay. Cool. So uh, now. We're playing 2099 here. Uh, which do you have? A, do you have a favorite? Amazing 2099. Do you, I, do you, I mean, it's you know, it's like asking to choose between your children. Or yeah, something yeah, yeah, right exactly. Now, well, it's, it's kind of hard because I've been just like when we were doing Shared Dimension, I got that uh, that uh, question a lot. Uh, question a lot. And the, oh yeah, which of the four? Favorite, yeah, yeah, but your favorite actually evolves as the game progress. You know, as you're putting all of a sudden like you're you're tweaking all this this the the uh, hypersensibility of. Of amazing and giving him all those cool offensive moves related to that. That you that used to be my favorite for a while, and then Spider-Man 299 got his own version of that, like launching decoys at enemies and throwing them back at you to do a perform a uh, perform a combo. Uh -huh. Then the team throwed in a time paradox ability that's actually available for both Spider-Man to to stop time, and that made them just even. So it's, uh, I can't take any. <laughs> so just all sorts of Spider-Man fun here yeah, in Spider-Man yeah. Edge of oh, Time. Yeah. All right, now we. We are seeing it on the 360 here, I believe. Yeah. What platforms uh, is Edge of Time going to be available for? So it's going to come out on October 4th for PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Nintendo Wii, 3DS, and DS. All right. Yeah, yeah. A separate 3DS and DS title. Yeah. Yeah. Got, so you're going to have some 3D effects going in there. We will. Yeah. How, how has that been? Yeah. I mean, is this? Has, have you worked on a 3D game before? Is it kind of cool that's to, to be, experiment that's, with? That's our first shot at 3D. Actually, the 3DS version of the game. It's, yeah. it's actually coming out pretty well. I mean, you should check it out. Yeah. I I plan to. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right, D. Well, and before we wrap it up here, anything else you want to mention about Spider-Man: Edge of Time? Well, yeah, I mean, we've, we've just announced at Comic-Con the uh, voice cast, uh, voice talent for our game. Uh -huh. So we have just announced that uh, Laura Vandervoort uh, from uh, Smallville and from the TV show V is actually voicing Mary Jane, who appears in our game. Excellent. Uh, we have Black Cat 2099 in our game that is uh, voiced by uh, Katie, um, Katie Sackhoff. From, uh, from, the, uh, from uh, Starbuck and uh, Battlestar, Battlestar Galactica. Galactica, of course. Yes. And the last one. Val Kilmer, the great Val Kilmer, is no actually kidding. back. Yeah, he's voicing uh, Walker Sloan, the evil scientist behind all of this. That's quite happen. a cast. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. So pretty exciting Comic Con for you guys so far. It is. It is. The, the response has have been uh, has been amazing. Now, what about you? Uh, you know, if let's say you do get some free times, adventure away from yeah. the Activision booth, uh, what do you, what do you look? What do you target? What do you want to see? Um, well, I, w I, w I want to have inspiration for our next uh, next title, so that's always what uh, what we're trying to do. Uh, at the beginning of any game, we're digging into comics, so that's what we're looking for, cool new inspiration. We mu I must say that we have already identify identify a few cool things that we want to check out. But All right, and you, but you probably me. can't tell me no, what no, that no. is. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. All right, well, stay tuned for more from Beanox, maybe in their inspirations in the coming yeah. months. But uh, Spider-Man, Edge of Time, coming out in October. Dr D, thank you so much for coming thank by. Thank you, you're welcome. Great to take a look at the game and, oh, yeah. of course, Spider-Man here at Comic-Con. It's a perfect fit. Yeah. All right, you know what's up next. It's Homer Ibarra on the show floor. What's he into now? Uh, only time will tell.